What's up, cool people? How we doing today, everybody? Welcome to another just kind of chill, hangout sort of stream while I do some side questing type things in Kingdom Hearts. Oh, stream is dropping frames like crazy. What the heck is going on, OBS? Come on. Anyway. So, um, yeah, not too much else to say before I get rolling with things. Um, I suppose one relevant update that uh, I just thought I would mention, uh, I'm not like, I don't know, I'm still debating <laughs> with whether or not this will continue to be my standard time for just, like, the chill hangout kind of streams. Um, there's there's part of me that wants to do Thursday nights, but there's another part of me that realizes, <laughs> especially over the course of the summer, that Thursday nights I might actually be out for a bit helping to prep some stuff at church for Sundays because, you know, I, it, so during the school year, I've just been doing that during like the Wednesday night youth group stuff. But, um, when that's not happening, I figure it might be a good idea to go ahead and do that prep stuff on Thursday nights because that's when the band normally has their rehearsal I don't know. Anyway. Uh, I'm still thinking about it, though. Because it really would be nice to, you know... Uh, it's, okay. This makes it sound like the fact that I... W w the fact that I stream on Saturday nights, like, limits what I can do. Um, and not necessarily, but, like, if there's much of anything going on nearby that I would want to do... Saturday night's a pretty likely time that I'd be be able to go and do that. Because there's not as much going on Thursday nights in that regard. But, I don't know. Anyway. Or I could just, you know, not necessarily say, hey, this is the standard, and just take it week by week. I don't know. Anyway. That was all the more I really was thinking and want, wanted to get out there before I get rolling with things. So, yeah, um, man, OBS is still kind of having some issues with frame drops. I mean, it seems like it's a little better, but not great. I don't know. Hopefully that uh, fixes itself before too long. Meanwhile, I'm going to just kind of keep going and hope that that doesn't become too much of an issue. So, I will get to, uh, you know, I'm going to boot up the game here and then we'll transition over to that, I guess. With an ad break as well for y'all uh, watching on Twitch. Okay, uh, do, 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 do. switching over to this scene. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what it is. The the percentage of dropped frames is hanging out right around like twenty three to twenty five percent because it just keeps dropping more frames for whatever reason. But so far, I haven't seen any major, like, stuttering or lag or anything to that effect. <clears throat> it, as far as, like, what I see of the stream preview windows. <clears throat> Man. <clears throat> Sorry. Just a... A little bit of something weird in my throat there. Hey, 
Okay. So, I'll be picking it up from this save file, but I will be going immediately to the gummy ship and not doing anything else in Atlantica because that might actually progress the plot. Um... <clears throat> So I know I titled the stream based off of, uh, you know, having the high jump and wondering where all I can go with that, but, uh... Uh, yeah. I'm actually gonna start things off with Monstro, which I don't think any of the stuff that I missed in here really requires the high jump, because I already got the stuff in here that required the high jump. There were just a couple of things that I missed for other reasons. Basically just because I uh, didn't really pay enough attention to get them. See, this would be where if I had glide, that would be great. And I could just get myself all the way over there, no problem. But whatever. <clears throat> so I figure most of the stuff that I'm missing here is going to be somewhere within these chambers or not. No, I did not want to go back out here. Anyway, um, okay. These guys give a lot of MP, so using magic here and there really isn't much of a problem. Okay, see now. This is where fighting up here and then falling down isn't really so much of an issue. More of it, great. And even more enemies. Lovely. See, so now with the high jump, I can just get up. Up here in one smooth motion. Oh, also. Any of this stuff that was up a little higher, I can now reach. So, you know what? Maybe there was some stuff I was missing in Monstro because of the high jump. Or because of not having the high jump yet, I should say. No, you don't. So, I, uh, let's see here. What all else is going on in my life? <laughs> so just today, the uh, taco content creator class thing started up. Really, main thing I'm hoping to get out of it is just a better sense of my audience and I guess maybe uh, best practices for trying to connect with said audience. Oh, 
See, now there was one of these chambers that, I, like, kind of didn't want to, like, go past a certain point of it before because I didn't have a high jump, but I was concerned that, like, basically I'd have to, you know, go all the way back through a bunch of stuff again right before getting to the boss. Yeah, this was probably it right here, actually. Barrel spiders. I also definitely did not get this stuff up here before. Come on. And now I've fallen and must fight other enemies. Oh well. So yeah, really the plan tonight is just go through all the different worlds, see what all I might have missed, or see what all I can get now that I couldn't before because I just in the last stream got the hype. And all the while, I'll be getting, you know, synthesis items and stuff, so that's... Or synthesis materials, I should say. And that is never a bad thing. Hey, another torn page. Okay, that makes, I think, two of those for the next time I go back to Traverse Town. I cannot get there. Hmm. How disappointing. It's just that one... Ha-ha! Okay. I'm like, it's just that one treasure chest. Oh, and there's another one over here. Ha-ha! But I have to do some fighting first, and... Trying to make sure that I don't fall off of here. Large body. Really? Okay, there we go. Mithril. Okay. Um, I went to that one area down lower there. Where does this take me? Immediately falling back into chamber one. Okay. Guess I hadn't realized that was there before. Probably because I wasn't really able to get up there. Because 
once you hit them, they're kind of inclined to then, like, you know, disappear and then come back and try and attack you, try and attack you again later. That was it. That sure wasn't much. That's what I was expecting. Trinity. This is why I look around. Um, Sora got another accessory slot. So, the Ray of Light raises max HP and MP. Power chain strength. Ability stud might not be a bad thing. Oh, geez. Um, okay, so we got tech boost, slap shot, berserk, stun impact. Um, tech boost is nice.
Um. Okay, that's just one strength and some dark resistance. Two defense and like all elements basically, other than dark. I think on the whole, the Ray of Light is probably the best of the bunch. So that is what I will equip to Sora. Okay, so where does this lead? That takes me to Chamber 6. But before I do that... Or really before I leave this room in general. Yeah. second there I thought Sora was gonna miss and then not get the chest. Um, okay, so now this is different too. That leads to chamber three. That leads to chamber six. Let me try chamber three. Just cause, well, okay. That wasn't what I was looking for. I already got this. Can I go back in? No. I gotta work my way back around. Okay, well, here's chamber six. Is it really gonna make me fight all these enemies all over again? That's another problem with Monstro. There's like no permadeath or whatever you want to call it for the enemies. Yeah, Donald just got some AP. That's nice. Might be able to give him another ability then. Okay. Up here. So let's see here. Never mind. Dang, those barrel spikes have some hops. take me to chamber five, which is where I, I, I think, yeah. So that's where I was when I did all this stuff. I went to chamber three last time, so let me see what going to chamber six from here looks like. More fallen. And I'm literally right back where I just was. Okay, then. Um, I don't... I don't think there's another, like, room transition up there. So I think now I'm just gonna exit this room the other way. Back to chamber five. Okay, that leads to chamber four, which I have definitely not been to yet today. 
Yeah, I guess I'll save. I've done quite a bit. Okay, so the overall percentage of drop frames is going down slightly. Wouldn't expect there to be anything new in the bowels here. No, but it is going to give me some enemies. Because why not? Get some damage on some enemies. You know, with magic, instead of just attacking them all the time. Now, what, I, what I'm unsure of is whether or not I will uh, do anything at Olympus in this stream. I don't know if I'll even, you know, get around to that. I definitely plan on saving that till the end. Just because, like, out of all the optional stuff that can be done, the Colosseum is definitely one of the bigger optional things. I think it pretty much comes down to... Like, I think that pretty much is in the top two. Anyway, hey! Bye, boss. How are ya? So I'm just going around, seeing what all I can do now that I have the uh, high jump here. Um, I think that's pretty much everything I can get in uh, Monstro. Really would be nice if... Uh, there were journal details saying what all I have and have not gotten in a particular world. Good news. Uh, okay. I'm just clearing these off because I can. Oh, jeez. Search Ghost, yeah. Those mostly appear in Atlantica. Uh, they appear plenty in Monstro, too. But anyway. This colossal heartless called forth by euphoric white mushrooms. Dancer by nature, once it starts dancing, it can't stop. And then it that's the one that only appears when I do the whole, like, stopping thing. Parasite cage, okay. Um... Yeah, I mean, I was in all of the chambers in Monstro, so I really don't think I missed anything. So, with that in mind, I will save once more. And then go to the gummy ship. Um, sure. Let's just work our way backwards, I guess. Hmm. Now where should I 
should I go first here? You know what? I can get from the Cave of Wonders to the rest of Agrabah without leaving the broader world of Agrabah. But can't so much do it the other way around. Oh, come on. Hey -ah. hey -ah. Really? Okay, well, I just wasn't looking where I was jumping that time, so... That's kind of my fault. There we go. Could I possibly get up here now? Yeah! Hidden room. Ooh, treasure ore. Somewhere. Wait, where is the treasure ore? Is it down here? Yes, it is. Goody. Found Dalmatians. Ooh. Treasure Hunter. Opened a hundred treasure chests. For a second, I thought maybe the achievement was going to be for finding a certain number of the Dalmatian puppies, but nope. Alrighty. I don't think there's anything else that I would really be able to do down here, but just in case, yeah, I'm pretty sure I already interacted with that one before, ugh, jeez, um, I thought there was a treasure chest at one point that I was having a hard time getting. This all seems familiar. Um, where does this go? Back to the silent chamber. Maybe because that's where I came in from. I'm just trying my best to make sure I don't miss anything. Pretty sure that takes care of everything down at this level. So now we go back up to the main floor. Come on. Sure is a lot of these bad guys. Okay. jump from here? No. Okay, fine. Not quite yet. I guess that's something I need glide for. Pretty sure I'll need to glide to get over to a bunch of uh, other stuff. In this room, that is, you know, detached from where I currently am. Meaning that stuff over there. Well, hang on a second. 
Hey, look at that. There's something a little different. Um, do I push this? Aha! Okay. That does something way down low. Proper Trinity ability to do the other thing from this ruin. Bat soldier things are getting quite annoying. No oh, thanks. But anyway, um, so yeah, do not have the yellow trinity yet. I can do green, red, and blue. But that's it, so far. Second, I don't know why, but I totally thought that was like a Trinity mark. Tell. Did it actually go? Like, there's 
there's definitely supposed to be a specific spot that it, like, sits in the water. But I don't know where that is. Oh. That's it. Okay. So I wasn't supposed to be able to get that before. Yeah, I don't want to go all the way back to the entrance. Well, okay. Really, my main concern was all the enemies I might have to fight, but you know what? I'm going to say forget that and just run right past them all. I do not care right now. Get back to where I was. Which was here at the bottom of the hall. Yeah, and I fell down here at the bottom of the hall because I was trying to get to that one platform that had a treasure chest. The game didn't want to grab onto it for whatever reason. Realistically, I don't think there was any good reason that I should have been kept from grabbing onto the platform at that treasure chest. Whoa, hello. That was close. Ow. Well, this is a bit of a problem. Okay, there we go. I'm like, if I try to go behind the guy, it's probably gonna send me to the next room. But I can't hurt the guy without going behind him. Fortunately, Goofy has some attacks where that doesn't make a difference. Having them be right by these doors gets kind of annoying. Um, okay. Nothing I would have missed because I couldn't get up high before. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's not going to be anything in here. In fact, I've already been in here. After completing this world once before. And there was nothing but enemies. Nor do I recall there being anything that would have required getting up high. So, yeah, I'm just gonna leave this room and head on back. there. Uh, 
Alright, one more time. I'm gonna try getting over here. Hey! Oh, uh, but... Okay. I was like, oh, but there are enemies in the room. Never mind. We're good. I really don't want to fight all these dudes on the way out. That's gonna take quite a while. Okay. Well, now, since I have not been to these spots previously, today, I, I am willing to do some fighting here. Oh shoot, I never looked at Donald's abilities. <laughs> I just remember that he got some more ability points. Alright, well... Maybe I can look at that now! Before I forget... Donald... Um... I'd much rather you have treasure magnets... ...than Berserk. Because, you know, you're much more of a magic man than, you know, a, a, a brawling attack based dude. fireball things. That was like full on fire breath. Flames when you're flatter than a pancake. Um, where was that? Oh. Yeah, there should be some things around the uh, main part of Agrabah that I could use the high jump to get to. Already been there. I don't think there's anything in this spot specifically that I'm missing. But there might be other things in other sections of Agrabah that might require the high jump to get to. Okay. Definitely saw a treasure chest up high in this area. 
Specifically, this one right here. Treasure. Mithril. Whoop dee dee. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's helpful for synthesis. But otherwise, it's like, eh, whatever. And now I'm down here. Hmm. It's a bit strange that most of these pots just wouldn't break. So I'm apparently trying to attack a pot spider before it goes spider mode. It doesn't do anything. Like, they're completely invulnerable. Okay. I don't think I'm missing anything in this particular room or whatever you want to call it. Nope. Um, so the only other thing that comes to mind as an item I would be missing, well... Presumptive here. I will double check the alley. Yeah, no. Don't think there's anything here. Just because I never use these things. Um, let's go with a cottage, because I have the most of those. There you go, Goofy. Be healed, my friend. Oh, that's right. Plaza and the main street are not the same thing. I am not missing anything from the plaza. At least I don't think I am. No. Okay. So, I will go back to the main street. And then over here to the palace gates. Okay. 
See, after I used Thunder there, I thought, huh, maybe I should have used Gravity instead, but the problem with Gravity is that it, like, takes a little bit. Oh, hey, the really wide-eyed guy isn't there anymore. Okay. Yeah, now I can get up here. Don't know if I'll be able to get all the way over there yet, though. More Dalmatians, okay. Um, yeah, pretty sure I need Glide to get over there. All right, well, I can't get everything done in Agrabah yet. Wasn't sure if maybe Aladdin would still be there, given uh, that was kind of where we left him. I just take him back to the plaza. Don't care about that. All right, to the gummy ship. And hmm. What would I possibly be missing in the deep jungle? That would require the high jump. I honestly can't think of anything. Um. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll check anyway. It's kind of the whole point. Of, you know what I'm doing in this stream. Um, I think I might actually start at the uh, tunnel here. So that way I can do this right off the bat. And uh, see about... See about unlocking yet another path. Not sure how I missed that branch, but whatever. Okay. So first we gotta go to the left. The second branch also requires going to the left at some point. Thanks for uh, taking a hit for me there, Tarzan. Oh, hey. Asia Dice. Hello. How are you? So this is where things speed up a little bit. Get a little more tricky. There's that one. Contained dark matter. And can't go that way yet, but next time I do this, that should be open. Yeah, there wouldn't be 
anything behind the waterfall that I'm missing. Anyway, uh, doing well, saw you on, so I wanted to stop by and say hi. Well, I appreciate that. No, oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> of like the combination of things that I chose early in the game or what but it definitely seems like I'm getting more MP than I normally do or some of that some of that's also coming from items insist on focusing on the table there. The table is not an enemy, Sora. Everything in the hippo's lagoon. Really? Okay. Oh, geez. Head break coming up. Well, it's not like there's too much of anything to miss today. I'm not like, you know doing story stuff or anything like that. Yeah, there wouldn't have been anything in the vines for me to miss. And then there's this area that seems to want to just endlessly spawn enemies. There's like one thing in here that I know I haven't gotten, but I don't think having the high jump is enough to get to it yet. Pretty sure I also need to have glide. But I might as well check it out, you know? Uh, assuming I don't really fall off of stuff before that. One of these times, 
I need to actually confirm whether or not slipping on the banana peels makes you lose money or it for some reason just gives you a ton for no good reason. Like, I, I know a bunch of money appears when you slip on one of those bananas that the one enemy puts out there. I just, I just don't know if that takes away money first. Like, that's actually your money that slips out and you are then, you know, collecting. Uh, okay. Didn't quite mean to do that, but sure. No big deal, I guess. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I need Glide to get to that, because even jumping off the top of the treehouse, I think that leads me too far away from there to actually be able to get into that boat thing. And there's the other. Hello, Ferric. Don't know if you can hear me with the ad break going on. If not, I will just say hi again. Well, I'll say hi again after the ad break just in case you can't hear me now. No ads currently? Oh, okay. Hmm. I wonder why, because Twitch is definitely telling me there's an ad break going on right now. Or maybe that's because you, like, just joined in or something. I don't know. I don't know how these things work. Anyway, hi! Nice to see ya. Now, you were one of the people in the uh, creator class earlier today, right? Or, or am I getting my people mixed up? Okay, that's what I thought. Well then, uh, glad to see you here too. Uh, I was not supposed to fall down there like that, but oh well. Yeah, that chest is the only thing that I'm missing here, and I don't think I can get to it even from the top of this treehouse. That doesn't keep me from wanting to give it a try, but eh. I'll come back to it later. Okay. And I have gone through the entirety of the deep jungle. So, in case you don't know, I've got like, I've got streams that are almost like dedicated recording sessions of mine where I will specifically like progress Bible study and whatever game I'm playing at the time. Um, this is not one of those streams. This is one where I'm just kind of hanging out, and in the case of, you know, Kingdom Hearts and other games like it, I will, you know, make progress on things that aren't story-related. So then I'm not putting as much of that into my edited videos that go to YouTube later. Oh, my God. 
It, that, that's one thing that I think I have a little different compared to a lot of the other Christian content creators out there right now. It seems like a lot of the others started off with live streaming and maybe just kind of, you know, transitioned some things over to YouTube in addition to that. I started off making YouTube videos and then was like, hey, you know what? Maybe I should just live stream my recording sessions to have that as another possible way of, you know, interacting with people. Of course, starting the YouTube channel in general was just a, hey, you know what, I'm doing journaling stuff. And a former co-worker of mine suggested maybe just turning that into like a video journal thing. I figured I'd give it a shot and then, you know, over the years that kind of evolved into what it looks like now. Hey, what's up, Al? Um, give me a sec. Okay. Wanted to make sure I didn't miss, didn't mess anything up with that enemy before I took a look at your comment there. Uh, hope everyone's okay. Don't know if I'm gonna be much active in chat. Mostly lurk. Going through a difficult time right now. Wanted to watch and listen to King March to clear my head. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that you're going through some tough stuff but um, I'm here if you if you want to talk if you don't want to talk I that's up to you Deep freeze. Here. but whatever's going on I hope it gets better Thunder. Uh, Barrick saying, I have a few vids on YouTube. Just game clips from World of Warships and World of Tanks. No audio out of the game. Yeah. So, like, the one, the one downside of me turning my recording sessions into live streams is that, you know, when I just did recording, you know, and wasn't streaming it, I could pretty much have separate uh, feeds for the game capture and the webcam, and then, like, edit those together. But, when I'm doing it live, I, it doesn't really work as well to not have the webcam in place. So, that gives me less flexibility of where I then place my webcam when I then go to, like, edit things. The best I can do is, like, maybe kind of stretch it out, zoom in, if I feel like that's appropriate for a certain moment. Um, Cat Johnny is new. Uh, lifelong health condition... Okay. Date set where if he doesn't pass at home where he feels most safe, we'll take him to the vet. Uh... Eh. I... Personal... I mean, personally, my family hasn't had pets too much other than my older sister, and... So... I'll be honest, and... You know, not say that I can relate, but, you know, I I still sympathize with, you know, losing any pet or any creature, person, anybody or thing that feels like it was a significant part of your family and or your life in general. Just, 
kind of stinks. It's it's natural, but it still stinks. Okay, so since I couldn't get that one thing here in Wonderland, I'm pretty sure there is not going to be anything that I'll be able to get with the high jump that I wasn't already able to get to before anyway. Anyway, my, my only other thought is uh, whatever happens with Johnny, I hope it winds up being uh, relatively painless. get over there. Actually, there might be? Which one of these things makes me big? That one. Items. Potion. Flower. Here. That was not where I thought that was going to go. Okay, so maybe that's not the issue. Unless there's something else that turns over that way, if uh... You know what, I'm gonna leave it like that. Anyway, uh, since it was four weeks old... Sisters were the lone survivors of a cat colony. Do 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 do. Known this day will come, but yeah. Twin sister passed three. Hmm. Much as we'd love to ask God, like, hey, can you just, like, make this person or this pet or whatever live forever? Uh, it's, it's not really beneficial to the grand order of things, probably, to do something like that. It's definitely not even remotely saying that, like, God couldn't do that or wouldn't want to, but it just, like, you know, life happens, so eventually, eventually there's got to be some changes in some way or another, and like I said before, some of them kind of stink. Sorry, I, like, <laughs> I don't really have too many other words. I think I've already said most of what I would have to say, and now I'm just realizing I'm kind of going around in circles with all that. But anyway hope it all works out in the best way that it can. Um, I don't 
didn't think there was anything here that required a high jump. No, it's just... Room at the center? No, really. Um, okay. I already shocked you before. Okay, so yeah, I don't think there's anything else that I can really do here that makes any kind of sense. Although I... Yeah, I get. I guess there's just that one section of the Lotus Forest in the one corner that I could only get to with block. Just hoping it goes quick. Yeah, I... Uh, Like I said, I'm hoping it's all as uh, peaceful and painless as it can be. Okay, so yeah, I think I've done any and all the stuff that I can do in Wonderland. At least, you know, without having glide. So... Might as well save things here again. Gotta say, I'm surprised with how quickly I'm getting through all this. <laughs> Although that's probably just because I've also been to these places before and done basically everything else that could be done. Well... Suppose I could do the next tournament thing at the Coliseum. Pegasus Cup, as well as the Phil Cup. Anything new to say, Herc? Yes, actually. We did not say that before, as if we would face each other. Alrighty. Yes, I know the rules. Pegasus Cup. Because I don't think I can do any new version of the Phil Cup or anything like that. Yeah, no. Okay, so, Pegasus Go. Enter together. Here we go. And, you know, if anything winds up happening that's Thunder. containing any story for Olympus or any other important stuff like that, then, well, that's when I'll be glad I'm using two different save files. And everything I've done since the last bit of story progress has all been on a newer... Uh, or has all been on a separate save file from the one where I saved the last bit of story progress. Oh my gosh, I just wanted to get rid of the pot spider there. Ow. 
Call it pots and bolts. What about the healing ones? No mention of them in the team name. Six experience? Might as well heal now, I guess. I don't think I can do anything to these guys while they're like this. That looks like a big fat nope. Okay. Spiders and barrel spiders. Ouch. Of course, barrel spiders all have a bad habit of just, you know, acting like Voltorbs and using self destruct. I suppose that's more so Electrode than Voltorb, but anyway. Okay. All big dudes. Fine. Oh, come on. Was up just a little too high. Come 
I really like it when I can just deflect those fireballs back at them. Oh, Leon and Yuffie, right. Yeah, I should probably heal. Might be a good idea. Ow. Now you got my You don't stand a chance again. Oh, come on. I will say, I don't think in previous playthroughs I bothered much with trying to deflect Yuffie's uh, shurikens <laughs> to try and deal any damage or anything like that. The fact that I can specifically deflect them at Leon is interesting. going for Yuffie first, and I think now I'm understanding why. Because she's really annoying otherwise. <laughs> Healed, dog on it. Now you got my Thanks, Donald. <laughs> She heals him too? Okay. Yeah, definitely go for Yuffie first. Lesson learned. Come on. Oh my gosh, I had to... I had to back off for a little bit to heal myself, and then Yuffie winds up healing. No healing for you. Good grief. No! Come on! I was right there! Ugh. So disappointing. Oh, jeez. 
No, no. Healing. Oh, Yuffie! Stop with the healing and all that kind of stuff. No. There we go. Okay. Now it's just Leon. I can probably handle just Leon. It's over. Come on. Aha. And he's stunned. Good. Oh yeah. Now you got my You don't stand a chance against me. Are you sure about that? No, I don't need a break. Do you? Nope. You don't stand a chance against me. You don't stand a chance against me. I'm pretty sure I stand more than just a chance against you, Leon. Ouch. Okay, well, it helps if I time my dodges correctly. Ouch. It's over. Might as well heal. It's over. Yeah, that extra MP really came in handy. Yeah. Lesson noted for future attempts. Definitely get rid of Yuffie first. It's over. But uh, doing this battle solo is gonna be a bear. Achievement for winning the Pegasus Cup. Nice. Strike Raid. Yeah, that was great. Looks like Phil's trained another great hero. Strength the most important part of a hero? Well, what you really need is a strong heart. What makes a strong heart? If you have to ask, you're not a hero yet. Stop talking in riddles. It's not a riddle. Okay, so strike raid. What is that? Probably something I can't use yet. Uh, or something I don't have enough AP for is what I meant. Hurl the keyblade at an enemy. Select follow up attack at the right time for a combo. I just... Hmm... I've never been the biggest fan of abilities like that that cost MP. Now, Stone Impact could be nice. Oh, Goofy's got some ability points to spend um so we got cheer which i can't use summons in the coliseum anyway so that kind of doesn't do much treasure magnet i guess second chance keep one hp even after taking a critical hit that's also something to consider Like, if I got rid of, say, Rocket and the Treasure Magnet and Tornado, maybe, I could give him that. Okay. Now, do I dare to attempt this solo? I mean,. I think the answer is yes. It's just a question of how well I'm gonna do. Because <laughs> now that it's just me, 
I don't have anybody else to heal me. I don't have any, like, other stuff like that going on. Don't have anybody, uh, you know, distracting the enemies. <laughs> Come on. Okay, apparently these uh, search ghosts don't get stunned. Nothing to it. No one around to cast blame on me. Well, you know. You know if anybody from the party would do that, it would be Donald. And that's usually more related to, you know, if we crash the ship or something like that. Uh, hey. You know what? Uh, not yet. I was thinking about healing, but no. I'll wait until I lose just a bit more health and or get in a really desperate situation. Where's the barrel starter? Because I really don't want that just like charging at me and exploding. That was terrible timing. Man, this stun impact sure is going a lot more than 30% lately. Ouch. But it's helping me a lot. sure if that would wind up healing me all the way. Didn't think so. Yeah. Doing this solo also means I don't have anybody to, like, mess up a combo I'm in the middle of or anything like that, so... I guess there's a slight positive to, uh, not having the others around. Come on. Why am I focused on that one way off in the distance? Probably should have, you know, locked on and changed targets manually that way. Oh well. Okay. I'm gonna back off a little bit first. Alright, both fat bandits are wanting to do a uh, attack like that. See, I'm kind of hoping at some point they go for the fireball attacks. So then I can just deflect those all over the place. And Basically, get some free damage on some enemies. Sort of like I just did there. Surroundings and 
what enemies might be doing what. Well, I get some tech points for that, but not the enormous, you know, blob of health that I would normally get. Okay, nobody's shooting fireballs. Sweet, now they're stunned. Nope. Okay. Eh, let me heal. Because I can and nothing urgent is happening. Nope. Wrong thing to do. I thought it was going to be like the... Shorter fireball attacks like that. Okay. Take that. Well, looks like I've still got what six MP. Not doing the worst. Uh, these guys could be a bit of a problem. Nope. Uh, not to get hit by like, poison gas stuff or whatever that is. Dude, that stun impact. <laughs> that hit so well. Three of those in a row and I basically had no worries. Exploding, stunning some of these other spiders, and uh, the power of the dealing some damage to them. <sighs> now this one's gonna be fun. Okay, I'm sorry. How did that wind up? I don't know. I thought for sure I saw that one attack start off going away from me. And then it turned like midway through. Man, none of these fat bandits are wanting to do the, uh, the fireball. Of course, now that I've said that, one of them does it. take forever in a day, I would probably just keep waiting for fireball attacks. So now they're doing it a lot, so, okay. Oh, 
Prepared, that's when they start throwing the fireballs at me. tends to be a lot more uh, slow and steady, methodical kind of thing when I'm doing these tournaments solo. Really? Because if I try to be more aggressive, then stuff like that happens. Or I'll basically wind up getting hurt. Because of something kind of dumb. Nope. Nope. Okay. Ugh. It's taking a while, but we're getting there. Oh, geez, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, focus on Yuffie, focus on Yuffie. Ouch. I don't know, it's your attack that went back and hit you. So you tell me, is that supposed to hurt? Uh, timing on that was not great. Fuck on it. Is that supposed to hurt? Ugh, dead. The big shuriken thing is quite a pain. I literally just heard, like, the sound effects for Leon's fireball. Somehow I wound up being kind of sort of prepared for it. Dog on it. I thought for sure Yuffie was going to end up trying to heal while I was healing. Doggone it. I'm so close to having Yuffie gone. Haha! Yes! Hard part's over. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna just assume I've got this in the bag, but um, I'm a lot less worried. It's over. Now that Yuffie's gone. This is it. Ow. You don't stand a chance against me. Hey, Take that. Ow. Get this. Okay, so if he doesn't seem to really be reacting to my attacks, that's probably when it's time to stop attacking. I should have dodged there. It's not like I knew for sure what he was going to hit me with. So, meh. Ouch. It's over. It's over. There we go. Okay. Get this. Oof. Hey, you need a break? You don't stand a chance against Yes. By all means, please do that. It's over. I like it when you use the fireball against me. At least, you know, when it's just Leon left and uh, I'm prepared for it. It's over. Come on. It's over. Oh, come on. I pressed the dodge button there. It's over. Oh, well. Almost done. Come on. There we go. Ha-ha! <laughs> Victory! Oh, yeah! Tamed an Oricalcum. Okay. Do you want to start over? Why would I... What would be the point of starting over? No. So really, the only variant of that left is the uh, like time trial version, basically. Which, if it's anything like the fill cup, I'll probably have to come back to that later to actually uh, be able to complete it within the given time limit. But no harm in trying, right? <laughs> Three minutes, good grief, yeah, I know. <laughs> Magic will definitely be more uh, significant here. Duck on it. Those dudes can make or break this now that I think about it. Friggin' search ghosts. We'll go with thunder this thunder. time instead of gravity. This is it. Uh. Yeah, it was kind of a good and a bad thing. The Donald using keyword. stop there. Oh, jeez, yeah. See ya. Yeah, no way. 
I've already used like a minute and 20 seconds and that's only been what, three rounds? Heck no. Nah. At least I managed to get rid of a bunch of the pot spiders quickly. But... Okay, what is up with the stupid, like, soft lock on? <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be just shy of a miracle if we actually, uh, you know, get anything substantial going here. Why did he do it there? There were no enemies there. Yeah, this ain't happening. It's a pretty uh, strict time limit for something like this. Especially at the level I am. Well, the level I am and the abilities I have. <laughs> There's only 17 seconds left. Ain't no way this is happening. Yeah, I'd rather lose because of the time limit though than lose because I like ran out of health. Okay, well, clearly that's all that's happening for that stuff. At least, maybe I should say all the further that I'm getting for that tournament. Oh, man. Alright. Um... I guess that just leaves, uh, Traverse Town. Which... There's... I know there's a couple of things that I could do that aren't the, uh, Hundred Acre Wood. I've been trying to include everything from the Hundred Acre Wood in the recordings. Especially because that's more, kind of... Focused on story stuff, anyway. Alright, tell you what, before I get into too much of anything here in Traverse Town, I'm going to take a little bit of a break myself while there's an ad break going. And, uh, yeah. I'll be back in just a little bit. Um, but. Anybody watching on YouTube, you get to uh, listen to the music, I guess. Anyway, be back in a bit.
Okay. I'm back. Um... I'm also wondering... How much I'll be able to get from the shops and, like, synthesizing and all that kind of stuff. I guess I'll check out the synthesis first. Synthesize some stuff. Um, what all can I actually make? I can make an angel bangle. Cool. And a guard earring. Literally anything that I can synthesize, I will do so. I just go more for the accessories first. Mega ether. Okay, correction. Anything I can synthesize that has not already been synthesized. Is there going to be more stuff now? Yes. Oh, jeez. I can synthesize AP ups? <laughs> not that I would go farming for resources just so I could make more of those, but good grief. <laughs> That has potential to be a little bit broken. I will use that on Sora, of course. Although that's like the one thing out of all the like stat boosting items out there. If I was going to use any of them on somebody other than Sora, that would probably be it. All right, um, oh shoot. Sora can have second chance now. Okay, I'll ditch tech boost, or at least one of the tech boosts. And, um, stun impact, yeah. Second chance, there we go. <laughs> no use. Hold up, Donald doesn't have that, does he? No. He does have Leaf Bracer, though. Although I never really know if and when that's an issue. Meh. Okay. Now, for other items. What can we get? Um... Anything that I don't already have, at least one of, I will buy. But that's it. Yeah, do you have anything new to say now? Yeah, uh, you, okay, no. The answer is no, you have nothing new to say. That was what you said before. You guys have anything new? Ooh, hello. Golem shield. Mithril shield. Hmm. Gigas fist? Jeez. So many new things, and I don't have enough money for all of them. Uh, so I need another, like, 2,000 money. Well, what could I sell? Got plenty of potions. In fact, I'll sell like 16 of those. I see no need to have more than 10 of them in stock. High potion will go 11 of those. Same kind of thinking. Ether. Nine of those. Elixir, don't have ten yet. Mega Potion, though. Go with five of those. Mega Ether times three. Um, really 
don't think there's a reason to have any more than five of a given accessory. Okay. Now we go back to buying, and I can get the Mega Staff and the Shooting Star. And I think that was all that I was missing. Yep. Sweet. I'm like broke, but <laughs> I got all the things. So now, um, so the shooting star gives him two more strength, uh, but the mega staff gives him one more strength and one more MP. So let's go with that. Okay. No accessory changes that are just flat out better, right? At least not like across the board. Mithril shield is one more strength than the smasher. Giga's Fist is four more strength than the Smasher. Good grief. Yeah. Um, let's go with that one, shall we? Angel uh, da, 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 da. I'm just looking to make sure none of these things... Oh. Hold up. Okay, so the reduced fire and dark damage would be gone, but otherwise, this is a pure positive that would just give Goofy some more HP. So, you know what? Sure. There we go. Okay, any Asaurus stuff that would be best to swap out? Probably not. And he doesn't have any... No. Okay. Um, still can't open that treasure chest. Probably because I need to... Turn in all the postcards or something like that first. Oh, hey! That's right, this is the thing now. Now that we've finished up the story stuff in Monstro. Pinocchio. Hey, it's Sora. Well, hello, Sora. How did you get here? A man named Leon helped us. He even got us this house to live in. I don't know how I'll ever repay his kindness. Say, I hear you three are fighting the Heartless. I thought I might be able to help you, so I made this. Obtained Geppetto. For us? But of course. Pinocchio and I can't thank you enough. We'll do anything we can to help you. I think that's... I think that Geppetto thing is actually just a gummy ship model? Ooh, hello, Wishing Star. That's a new thing. Oh. Uh, short reach, but always finishes up a combo attack with a powerful critical blow. Hmm. I'm tempted, but... Nah. really interested in the gummy blocks. Ah, sorry, look what I've cooked up this time. Obtain Sid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's another gummy ship model. Cactar. Hmm. 
Yuffie? How many of these am I going to be able to get right now? <laughs> Maybe I can make a better ship for you someday. Okay. Maybe it's just dependent on how many worlds I've already completed? I don't know. I'm assuming those are like gummy ship models or something like that. Yeah, Cactar, Aerith. Okay, yep. That's what I figured. Um, not much point in talking to Sid because he's just going to have more gummy block stuff to sell. I don't really need any of those. Um, I already got the treasure chest that was up here. I don't believe there are any others that I would be missing. I already opened that. Alright. On to the second district, I suppose. This is where I knew for sure I'd be able to get something. Before I even, like, got back to Traverse Town this time. Because that thing is sitting right here. And it was bothering me that I couldn't get it before. Another postcard, okay. Not sure which postcard number that is, though. But anyway. Um, is there anything else that I could do in the second district? I mean, yeah, I can get up on the roof here, but I don't have to do it. That's nothing new. Um. I should probably, while I'm in the second district, go and uh, stop by the Dalmatian house thing. Potion. No treasure chest on this side. Okay. Just checking. Guess we rescued enough for another gift or so. I was gonna say another gift or two, but it might be more than two, so I don't know. Mithril shard. Torn page. That's like three torn pages that I have now that I haven't, uh, you know, gone back and done anything with. Okay. Then we're on to the alleyway here. Um, is there anything else in here? I think at some point there's a thing you could do over this way. I just can't remember what that thing is. Or when you're able to do it. 
Might even just be as simple as, like, you know, you have a conversation with somebody. Anything else from Traverse Town that I'm missing, though? Oh, these guys. Yeah, I can try this whole thing again. These guys are super annoying. I'm not sure if it's just a constant, you you fight these guys until you die, or if there's eventually, you know, an end to them. Thanks, Donald. Okay, that one's gone. I'm pretty sure I'm getting more experience points for each one that I defeat, though. At least I thought that's how they were supposed to work. I'm not sure I even had Cure last time I fought these things, so... I don't know. Doggone it, come on. These guys definitely don't seem to want to go away right now. Oh my gosh. And the timing of their attacks is just so inconvenient most of the time. Yeah, this doesn't seem like it's going to end anytime soon. Alright, you know what? Come on, they're not even gonna let me jump up here like okay. Never mind. Yes they will. Alright, I've had enough of this. <laughs> Good golly. <laughs> now so far, if I'm remembering right, they've only appeared like that when I've been coming from the alleyway. Um, right, I have a postcard. Let me mail that. That's only the sixth one? Jeez. Where are all these other ones that I haven't gotten yet? That's what I'm really curious about now. And right, hopefully those enemies aren't gonna show up again. Turn. Ah, uh, crud. Yep. Alrighty, well. I will spend as little time in the main area there as possible. Okay, for some reason I was thinking there was something in here. 
that I could do slash get. I think it had something to do with paintings or whatever and the... Oh, hello. Yeah, paintings are great. And... If you ever stay the night, try hitting the clock. Okay. I knew there was something. Which clock am I supposed to hit, though? Probably in one of these rooms. Is that, is that a clock? I don't think that's a clock. Maybe in the green room. That doesn't look like a clock either. Oh, that's a clock, though. Come on. Old Mountain, 7 a.m. Midday Jungle. Why won't you let me hit the clock? Pretty sure that's the clock. Okay, let me try going back to the red room. Is there something similar hanging from, no? Okay. And there's no clock out here in the hallway as far as I can tell. Clocking question. Aha! It did something. I heard a sound. I just don't know what happened from me doing that. now. Oh, come on. No vacancy. Yeah, 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 I know. On dusk. Okay, I hit the clock, but now what? Yes, paintings are great. Okay, so I needed to look at the paintings before I could do anything with this. I did hit the clock. What more do you want from me? I already hit the clock. Because I accidentally hit it an extra time, or what? Okay, well, it's not letting me hit it anymore. Ha! 
I'm very much confused. Okay, well, whatever. Don't exactly have forever to just mess around with that. Okay, no. I thought maybe it was changing the thing at the fountain there. But nope. Um, okay. I'd rather avoid that enemy with the slingshot. Third district. So they have nothing new to say. Absolutely nothing new. And I don't think there's going to be anything else in the third district that would be new. I guess I could do a little more fighting. They called that just long enough for me to think that, hey, maybe... Just maybe we're done fighting. And then it's like, haha, <laughs> nope, you're not done yet. At least not until like the third round. about all I can think of other than there's got to be something going on with that clock at the hotel and I'm just not sure what it is that I'm missing but perhaps that will be for another time and we'll go back to Triton's Throne since that was where I Saved it. I haven't been seeing too many Trinity Marks. Um, 
So I think I was actually gonna have Ariel in the party just for like story purposes. that I'd really want to look into. I doubt it. Meh. Okay. Well. Uh, that'll at least do it for Kingdom Hearts tonight. I... Don't know if I feel like I really need to wrap up the stream, though. Question is, if I don't end the stream, what else would I do? Um... Well, I could do a little power wash simulator, or, um, or I could hop into some Digimon Survive. Haven't done that in a while. And I did leave things off right when I was about to get into the, like, Harmony Path thingamajig. I don't know. Let me, real quick... Take a look. Okay, right. Because of the treasure chests and then the Pegasus Cup. Um. All right. You know what? Shoot. I've been I've been sitting on Digimon Survive way too long <laughs> just waiting for a chance to get this particular ending of it I'm probably not going to uh, actually read a ton of the dialogue unless I get into a new conversation that we haven't gotten before. But on the whole, you know, dialogue in this game isn't exactly the most family-friendly either. Not that I'm, like, super... Like... I don't claim to be a super family-friendly uh, channel here. Even though I am a Christian and generally like try to keep my own language and behavior at a, you know, I guess at a, a level or type that would generally be family-friendly. But... I don't assume or promise the same for the games that I play. So, um, yeah. For anyone who doesn't know, Digimon Survive is a very story heavy game. It's like halfway interactive novel as much as anything else. Um, and of course, you know, there's Digimon characters and whatnot, but the human characters are newer. And... Yeah, basically you get stuck in the digital world trying to figure out what's going on while you're there. And of course, then like, everything's in danger. 
you wind up somehow back in the, you know, human world, at least you, the main character, and, well, your Digimon partner, and then one other human, and you're trying to figure out what to do, and then depending on choices you've made up to this point in the game, reflected by the bottom right of this screen here, you get certain possible choices at the end of, like, well, do you want to head back to the digital world and why? <laughs> um, and that's what really kind of significantly changes the ending of the story. Up until that point, it's mostly going to be pretty similar. But yeah, um, I forget what the other option is that you get here, but like it's basically you're picking your motivation for going back. I've done this one. It talks about, you know, helping your friends and or being true to them is what it says here. And then you've got this one, which... I thought I had picked before, but apparently not. And there's a certain evolution of one of the party's partner Digimon that you can only get if you follow this path. Anyway, okay. Yeah, I want to help save the world, blah, blah, blah. Although I would think if I hadn't picked that option before, it wouldn't be uh, speedrunning all this dialogue. So, they're ready to go back, but Takuma gets a call from his mom that delays it for a little bit. And that's what starts part 9 out of 12 or 13, depending on the enemies. This seems new. Yeah, because each... Each ending kind of tends to put an emphasis on a different character. Now that I think about it. Uh, a single convenience store to be found. I can't believe we get to live in a place like this. Looks like this is a flashback of Mew and Kaito. Two of the other human characters. Yeah, so their, their dynamic is a bit complicated. It's implied that something happened with Mew in the past. Um, but they don't really get into too much detail as to what... Um, so Kaito's, like, really protective. <laughs> but she doesn't like that. She feels like he's practically smothering her. And I just realized my webcam was blocking Kaito's face that entire time. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, Okay, well, that gives a little more insight into what her situation was. So, apparently... She was being stalked? Uh, but anyway... So yeah, a lot of the a lot of the human characters in this game have like kind of I guess some sort of trauma from their past. I think Takuma is about the only one that that doesn't really apply to.
Alright, you know what? Let me get my webcam out of here. At least while there's a bunch of uh, dialogue happening. Alright, uh, right, I can speed run this. They're just saying how they got back. And another one of our pals, Minoru, finds us and is glad to see us. And we have a conversation that it was like... Takuma was only gone in the human world for a few hours, but it's been ten days in the Digimon world. Sorry, suddenly noticing a bunch of notifications on my phone. Um... Okay. Right, what should I talk about here? Oh, was there... Hold up. Was there anything with Agumon's evolutions that I was missing? No, I've got all of his. So that's not the issue. The main one that I'm missing is Drachmon's. Specifically that one down there below Beelzemon that I have highlighted here. I think I've gotten every single other evolution of every single other partner Digimon here. Uh, yeah. So I don't think my karma alignment matters a ton from this point on. Might as well just keep going with the uh, Harmony route, since that's the overall path that I'm taking here. Alright. And now we get into where we can go around and just talk with people individually or kind of have another look at other places around here. Um, okay. So as you're looking around certain areas, you can use your phone camera to, like, kind of spot some things that you wouldn't otherwise be able to see. Most of the time, though, even if you don't have the camera, you know, on and in use, it'll still, like, lock on to the stuff that you need the camera to see, so I... Uh, there's a couple of things that don't quite fit that. Alright, so... There was something I saw... in like a guide or whatever... regarding this last evolution... that made it seem like I needed to have... Kaito's affinity under a certain amount? I'm not totally sure if that's actually necessary. But... I'm going to definitely not prioritize talking with him in case that is actually true. Um, guess I'll start up here with Minoru. Somewhat hidden thing in the background there. Anything else? that it doesn't have me locking on to? Probably not. Okay. Okay. 
and I skipped basically all that dialogue. Um, strange presence coming from from the shrine, like a bad guy vibe, maybe. Best to be on your guard. All right. I'm skipping the dialogue instead of reading it and then just like summarize it. Well, instead of like reading it while the characters are talking. This might be new though, so um is it do you regret coming back? No. Takuma wonders why Agumon would even ask that. What should I say? Of course I don't regret coming back here. Came to protect everyone. Agumon seems a bit uneasy. Can't blame him. Maybe I should just go through it like that. Rather than skipping the dialogue outright. Okay, um... Let's go over here and talk with the other Digimon. If there's anything to talk about. Which, I assume there is. Why else would it... Show them on the... Anyway. Just can't relax. Getting the heebie-jeebies for some reason. Uh, something doesn't feel right. We keep sensing something weird over by the shrine. Something there if we go and check it out. I'm sorry, there's nothing there if we go and check it out. But it just doesn't feel right. There might be something there. And... Now it has our, hardly anything there because it wants to... It wants you to go over to the shrine then, basically. Or not. Or we just go here and there's some sort of automatic dialogue bit. I wonder where the professor went. See, oh, come on. Uh, saw the professor heading toward the shrine. Not surprising. Must be looking at that mural. Not Mew. Uh, the relationship is kind of twisted, don't you think? Especially Kaito's attitude. I can see that. Come on. Uh, still, those two are starting to change little by little. All the pain and fear of this world might have made them aware of the distance between them. Sure, but the start of a change can be the most dangerous part. No telling where their relationship will end up when the dust settles. I was hoping you'd keep an eye on those two. It's a chance for them to wipe the slate clean, so I'd hate to see it go to waste. Yeah, they should get along as as long as they're together. Me and Dragmon are too close to the issue. Takuma's good at getting along with everyone, isn't he? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I think that was a new bit of dialogue there anyway. Okay. Maybe now we're supposed to go to the shrine. Okay. Uh, something happened to Miyuki. Where's Haru? Fainted it during the fight against Gurumon. Kept him in the corner of the factory. All right. So after things finished up, we grabbed Haru and made it back here. But then when he woke up, he was incredibly upset about Miyuki's absence. Not surprising. By the next morning, Haru had disappeared too. 
think he went to look for Miyuki. Have any idea where he might have gone? Looked for him everywhere, but... I'm worried, obviously. Uh, I hate to think of such a small child going off on its own. Yeah, but there's nothing we could do by ourselves here. To be honest, we've had our hands full just taking care of ourselves. Uh, do do Yeah, so Aoi's basically... Aoi basically became the leader in Takuma's absence. Uh, do do do... See, none of those have a particular karma alignment thing. Um, you got a point there, but... But what she was really talking about is apparently how he's cooking. I mean, I, I know food can make people feel better, but it seems like a slight exaggeration, maybe? I don't know. But honestly, a big thing about uh, Aoi's personality in this game is that, like, she's kind of timid. But when it comes to helping other people, she's basically willing to do whatever it takes. <laughs> Even if it's something that she would normally shy away from. Uh, do do do. Uh, yeah, meanwhile, uh, Saki was going to have surgery. But it felt like since they've been in the Digimon world, she's been able to kind of escape from that. Okay, um... I don't think there's gonna be any hidden stuff in here. Nope. Okay. Hmm. That yawn makes me wonder if I should just wrap things up soon anyway, even though, like, I didn't really plan to. I don't think there's going to be anything new there, no. Okay, well, I guess I have no choice but to at least go to the gym and talk with Kaito and Mew. Do should ask them what happened. Uh, do do Yeah, so Kaito finds it ridiculous that Miyuki's important to the situation. Because at this point in the story, there's something that he knows about Miyuki's current state that Takuma doesn't.
Figured I'd see how he's doing, but he's in a worse mood than I anticipated. Talking was like, what do you mean finished? Because he hasn't seen the state that Miyuki's in at this point. Last time he saw her, they were both in the human world. And everything seemed to be fine. Like, they were whipping up a plan to, uh, you know, go back and save everyone. Realizing that Miyuki would need to be a big part of that. But anyway... Mew does not want to give up so easily, even though she has seen the same thing that Kaito has, I'm pretty sure. And... Yeah. <laughs> Kaito, of course, is worried about protecting Mew, but Mew's like, well, you know, you, you gotta try and put yourself in somebody else's shoes. And to do that, she put the analogy of like, well, if I was in Miyuki's position, wouldn't you try to, to help me? You wouldn't give up so easily, right? Of course, Kaito's now getting into some of the reason he's so overprotective because he thinks that his sister Mew is just weak and wouldn't be able to make it on her own. Uh, back then, you would have been fine if you just stayed by my side. <laughs> back then, he said. Definitely referring to something in the past. Uh... Um, yeah, let's calm him down. I don't think he'll like that, and I'm trying to honestly not do things that he would like in this situation. Just in case I need his affinity to be low for certain things to happen. Mew's finally trying to make him see that she doesn't need him as much as he thinks she does. But Kaito's a hothead and slaps her out of anger. But then immediately is like, wait, did I really just do that? Wait, no, no way. Yeah, so his uh, hot headedness also turns out to be a problem and it is kind of not good from you. Yay for complex family dynamics. <laughs> um, so I assume I'm supposed to go to the inner shrine next. Alright, 
I feel like me explaining the dialogue is actually taking longer than the dialogue itself, so maybe I should just kind of speed run through it a little more. Uh, so they're gonna end up talking about the murals here. Professor is trying to see if they would help with the current situation. Or if, you know, analyzing them could help explain their current situation, I should say. Um... I don't know if it's necessary that you get the explanation of all the murals, but it just seems like the most logical thing for the story. So basically it explains the legend of how the human and Digimon worlds are connected and uh, how there was a certain family that used to like worship or otherwise interact with these quote-unquote gods that were really Digimon, I think. Um. Anyway, what am I supposed to... Oh, man. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Oh, so I guess this hasn't... I guess I haven't had this particular bit of conversation before, because uh, it's not like... It's not letting me skip it. Uh, I know I talked about her being the key to creating a gate between worlds, but she was a normal girl, shocked at how the world had changed since she'd last seen it back in their world. Um, and of course, so T Takuma wants Minoru to tell him what's going on because nobody else will tell him what the deal is with Miyuki. So... Right as Minoru is about to tell him f some fog rolls in, which... Fog isn't just fog in this story. It's a sign of, uh... It's a sign of danger. Right when they're about to have dinner. Okay, so they all get together out here to... Kind of brace themselves for this because they're getting attacked by a possessed Miyuki, and that's really about all that we need to know for this current situation. And then we get into a fight. Yes. There is more than just story to this game. There's actual, like, gameplay and, uh, battles. Um. Okay. What level enemies am I fighting here? Probably nowhere near the levels of my Digimon. I'm gonna use these two just to try and catch them up to the others. And then, for kicks, I will use my lowest level Digimon. Yeah, there's also a bit of a, like, not quite Pokemon element to this game, too, where you can, like, uh, not so much catch the wild Digimon as, uh, convince them to join your side. I'm gonna just have this battle basically speedrun itself. Because you have that option in this game. 
you just kind of pick a preset of, all right, do you want the Digimon to go with their highest evolutions? Do you want them to focus on healing, attacking? And in the attacking, do you want them to focus on individual enemies or kind of all work together on the same one? But otherwise, you kind of just uh, set it and forget it, as a lot of old-school commercials used to like to say about their products, especially if it was cooking-related. Yeah, so... I'm trying to remember what the different... like... Trying to remember the different endings and the character focuses for each ending. I know there's one that basically has it to where um, it focuses more on Aoi and Saki. Um, and I'm trying to remember. Now, th this one seems to be focusing on Kaito and Mew. And then I'm trying to remember... Because there's a third... Path. But I guess... I guess that one doesn't really focus on anyone in particular. And, like... For, for the ones where it focuses on a specific character or two... Usually, spoiler alert, one of them ends up dying. One of them, or maybe even potentially both? I don't know. But... Yeah, I, it's, for sure it's like one character ends up dying and then that sends another one down like a major emotional spiral. And that prompts their Digimon to evolve in a way that it wouldn't normally. So yeah. Literally, you have to play through this game at least three times to get all of the... Uh, to get all the evolutions... Actually, maybe even four times. Anyway. Because there, there's like kind of three, you know, karma alignment paths. But then there's also the true ending, which you can't even get until at least the second time you play through. But I, okay, so right here, basically everybody's going to try and, you know, help Miyuki break out of the master's control. There's temporary, they are temporarily successful, but then she uh, winds up falling back under his control again. Uh, b -b 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 I'm just going to pick this dialogue option because it fits the overall alignment of everything so far. Um, is there another way? I honestly don't know, but... That just... You know, leads to... Possibly choosing the other options and increasing your karma alignment for those two, but... Doesn't do that much story-wise. Okay, so now they're heading to visit a certain other Digimon named Gigimon who knows a lot of things. Um, in fact, I think that's pretty much 
obligatory to any Digimon canon at this point in any storyline. Like, Gigimon is a wise old guy who just knows a lot of things and is able to help the main characters by giving them information. Speaking of Gigimon, I'm realizing, I think, for the one ending, that's actually <laughs> the character that winds up dying instead of one of the, like, you know, main human people. Anyway, um... Let me just go ahead and search some stuff around here a little bit. Oh uh, yeah, and even the, even in these kind of situations, you can wind up in some battles. Um, this is usually where you have the possibility of convincing Digimon to join you. Um. What do we got here? We have Andromon, pretty sure I have that, Garudamon, Monzimon, and Edamon. I'm pretty sure I have all those Digimon. Uh, let me just, okay, I see Edamon on the first page here. There's Andromon. Um. There's Monzimon, and there's Garudamon, so yes. Since I have them all already, I'll just, um, let's see here, level 28 and 32, okay. I think I'll just go with my lowest level Digimon. and then auto battle things from there. I don't know why I feel the need to get my lowest level Digimon closer to even with all the rest, but I don't know. I guess it's also just more interesting that way because it's not like I'm completely overpowered. Although there's definitely one type of uh There's definitely one type of battle in this game that I am not overleveled for by a long shot. But that's specifically designed to be like a challenge battle sort of thing. Good grief. And just like that, Cherubimon's almost done for. So like, when it, when it comes to, you know, the Digimon series as a whole, I mean, it's definitely never shied away from having some kind of darker themes and storylines, but even relative to that, this one gets pretty stinking dark. <laughs> I mean, you've got like, main characters outright dying. There's a reason this is rated teen instead of, you know, like E or even E10+. plus. Of course, there's some... There's some foul language here and there as well that kind of contributes to that too. Another reason I've been kind of glossing over all the uh, dialogue stuff.
But I think, I don't know. At least in the earlier seasons of the Digimon anime, uh, one of the main reasons I think I liked that more than I liked the Pokemon anime was just because of the the range of characters. And the fact that it was pretty much inherently going to be more relatable. The, some character in there was going to be more relatable to somebody. Or, wait, wait, wait let, me, let me back that up. S some... Somebody out of the group of main characters was going to be relatable to literally everyone who would watch, pretty much. Um, where I was with Pokemon, it was just like, okay, what, you've got Ash, Brock, Misty, and most of them generally have kind of positive attitudes. Yeah, you got Misty, who's, you know, a little more... A little more hot-headed, maybe, kind of feisty, you might say. Um, but like with with Digimon there wasn't just the the you know inherent always good guy <laughs> like the closest to that at least in the first season was probably Ty but even he at one point got he, 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 either he got mad or like he was really pushing hard for you know Agumon to be stronger to the point where he pushed too hard and you know since Digimon are affected by the emotions of any human partner they might have that you know wound up with him digivolving in an in a not so great way <laughs> all right uh, I'm pretty sure I have all these Digimon in my selection here there's Betamon right there um there's Deltamon. I was just using him in the last battle, so duh. And there's Gigadramon. Okay, yeah. So. I'll just use my lowest levels per the usual. I don't think I have every Digimon in the game, but I've got a lot of them. <laughs> And maybe after this, I could actually kind of show you which ones I might be missing. After this, I think it might just be time to kind of wrap up the stream, because otherwise I'll start getting into more story progression, and I don't know how much time I want to spend on that. Plus, you know, as evidenced by prior yawning and whatnot, I might be a little tired, or at least tired of sitting here doing this for the moment. Good grief! Now that's a lot of damage. But I think yeah, Gigadramon's an ultimate, so just by sheer nature of being a higher evolution, they usually have better stats. Alright. 
So, um... I'll tell you what, I might as well just go ahead and start looking at somebody to possibly raid once this stream is over. If you have any thoughts on that, feel free to say so. Um... Let's see here, we got... We got somebody playing Pal World. Call of Duty, Overwatch. Lethal Company, which from what I've seen is a lot of fun when you have some friends playing together. Otherwise, I could just default to, uh, you know, raiding somebody I haven't necessarily interacted with much before and trying to show support there. Sometimes the stated category for the stream isn't super helpful. Anywho. Okay, well with uh with nothing else to really go off of I'm thinking I might just go ahead and raid somebody who currently doesn't have a ton of viewers. Also somebody who is a more recent uh, connection of mine and I don't believe I've raided before. Anywho. All that being said, I think that is about going to do it for my stream tonight. Um... Got a mm, couple hours, maybe, before I should be getting some sleep so I can help out with church in the morning anyway. So, hope you all enjoyed the stream. I hope I'll uh, see you again sometime soon. Um, feel free to check out YouTube videos in the meantime if you're looking for more stuff from me. Or um, if you want to chat and communicate and whatever in between streams. I've got a Discord server. Let me just go ahead and pull that up in the chat for you so you have that information in case you're interested. I also share all of my YouTube videos there, so if you're looking to if you're looking for a way to keep up with all that, Pretty much everything gets posted there. And then there's also discussion on like, hey, I'm thinking about this. What do you suggest? Or what what ideas do you have? Or just anything, really. So anywho, um, the idea right now is that I'm going to raid a channel known as Consumed by Him, another Christian channel. They are currently playing Stumble Guys, which is... Supposed to be a Fall Guys, like, spinoff or something like that. I'm not quite sure what its relation is with Fall Guys. I just know that they're similar. So anyway, um, yeah. That's all I've got for you. Hope you're all doing well. Hopefully I'll uh, see you soon for 
another live stream or whatever. But whatever the case is, till next time, stay cool, everybody.